Hi folks. Welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, we are going to show you how to easily copy custom fields from one site to others with Metabox Builder. This is so helpful if you regularly work with many different projects in website development, especially the projects that have similar custom fields. There are some benefits of cloning that you are definitely interested in. First, it helps your targeted website operate with the adequacy of necessary custom fields in their configuration. So you only need to create a series of custom fields with adequate configurations as you want. Then bring the needed fields to the targeted sites. That ensures all of the fields you import into the sites have the same settings. Thus, it saves a lot of time in configuring the fields, even with the complex attributions or conditions. However, this is just copying the fields, not including the data in those fields. For the data, you should use another plugin to export and import them. In this practice, I already have an original page on the left screen, with a simple field group created with Metabox. Then, copy these custom fields from this site, to the targeted site here. As a result, we'll have two different sites with a similar field group like this. This task will be very easy to do with the help of Metabox Builder from Metabox. Here are the tools we need. We need to install the Metabox plugin on all sites since it is the framework for custom fields. It's available on WordPress.org. On the original site, you should have the Metabox Builder extension of Metabox to generate the code of the field group or export the fields. On the targeted sites, you may have this extension or not. If not, we'll add code to the themes files. Otherwise, you can import the field using the UI of the Metabox Builder. Pay attention that, based on using the Metabox Builder on the targeted sites or not, we'll have two methods to bring the fields to those sites. So, let's find it out. We will add code to the theme file when you do not want to install the Metabox Builder on the targeted sites. As you can see, the site on the left already has a custom field, but the site on the right doesn't have it yet. Let's copy this custom field from the site on the left to the one on the right. On the original site, go to the field group editor. Press this button and generate the code. Here is all the automatically generated code. Remember that this is the code of the whole field group. So we have exported all the custom fields included in this field group. If your field group includes several custom fields and you want to clone some specific ones only, you should separate them into different field groups and then export each one. Next, on the targeted website, go to the functions PHP file and paste the copied code. When you follow this way, please remember that the targeted website doesn't install Metabox Builder, but must install Metabox Framework to ensure that the embedded code can operate. Now, the field group will display on the targeted site similar to the original site. There are some notices when you clone the fields this way. In the function's PHP file, if there has been the code of another field group embedded, and it has the same ID with the new code, only the last one is accepted. You also can embed code of many different field groups on one site, but you must ensure that the ID of each field group differs from others, then all of them can operate. If the field group's ID are iterated, the last one will be prioritized. For this method, you should have the Metabox Builder extension on both the original site and the targeted site. Here I also have the original site with a field group, and the right site also does not have it. On the original site, go to the Custom Fields section. You will see the field group on the Management Dashboard. There will be some options below the name of the field group. Click this one to export the field group into a JSON file. Download this file. Then, go to the targeted site, 
also in the Custom Fields section. Click the Import button on this place. Just choose to upload the downloaded file to this site. You will see the field group display on the dashboard immediately. Open it to see the settings. They are exactly the same as the one on the original site. You can check how it displays in the post or page editor, where the field group is assigned as the settings on the original site. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to try other things, please watch our other tutorials on our channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.